Chee Chee, it's your boy Fiston, and his house bringing another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me to do because that's what I do. Ground War Domination, 9v9 going solo, Evo with the laser sight silencer running the VSAT, stealth chopper, and escort drone. I, don't, I think my perks are is just uh, toughness, uh, hardline pro, <laughs> hardline pro, hardline, and uh, I think it's. Extreme conditioning. Now I want to talk about not only this map, but the gameplay. But the maps, maps are awesome. I think it's one of the best maps in the game. You know, there's there's head glitching, there's there's rushing abilities, there's short spawns. I mean, there's no excuse. If somebody's head glitching, you could beat them. I showed those in prior videos. I mean, there's so many ways. Look at that. Break out of the vortex. The Evo Scorpion is a is a vortex disruptor monster. If I talk, I talked about that in the past. Um, the Evo. Off the hip with a laser. The rapid fire shoots so fast that you can sidestep off the hip with a laser and hit somebody without any recoil, and you will hit them. And that it, there's you could break a lot of vortexes. Like I said before, once you get caught in a vortex, you get caught in a vortex. That's it. It's a wrap. You're done. You can't escape. Now here's a little spot by that wall. Now I stand over here in the corner. I'm gonna tell you about it. In this particular map and other maps, the color coordination with the uh, shades of darkness with the shadows, you can uh, not be seen if the other team is not using UAV. What happens is the pants match the color of the flowers in the game. So if you see a lot of vines and stuff like that in regards to certain maps or color palettes that match the pants, you will, you will blend right into the wall. And there's tons of these hiding spots in the game. Made a mistake right there. Should have let the little escort drone take that dude out. But, you know, you can't sit up there forever. Obviously, when you kill somebody, they're going to know where you're at. They watch the kill cam. And then they're like, where did I get killed from? But you see right there, you get caught in a vortex with the Evo. You cannot escape. You are done. High rate of fire with a laser sight on you with little to no recoil. And that takes you out. And that's a great thing. There's a great combination with this map, not only with the with the kill streaks and and the way that the characters are have color palettes to their uh, to their character. So you, it's awesome. You know, these are a lot of things you got to take into account when you play this game. I'm giving you real tips that you can apply. I mean, you look for shadows like right here. You see on the floor right there, down there in the shadow of the tree, a lot of tree shadows, and you can just be laying on the ground. And if you don't, ha if you have like. Uh, cold blooded on they can't see you you just sit right there and bam take them out and that's the great thing about these shadows and color palettes and with the pants now I do like the map I mean there's spots where you can set up and post it's not only you know a lot of people say oh the assault rifles are bad and they're not that good and they're not really usable but the point being is a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of post up places on maps like this I mean there, every spot I go there's a post up spot Every spot you could post up to where majority of your body can't be seen. And that is strictly set up for assault rifles, LMG, any player. I mean, you see me do it with the SMG. So if you do have the ability to use the assault rifles, the problem is it doesn't fit certain people's gaming styles. That's the issue. So when you're, when you're running like, you know, like a Type 25 or an SMR or some, you know, shitty ass weapon like the M27, you're not gonna get those gameplays unless you are camping really hard in uh, head glitching post up. I mean, I call them post up spots, but they're head glitching areas, and they're put there on purpose. And eventually, you're starting to see like these pro players now that they know the flow of the maps, they know where the spawn, they know where the uh, capture spots are, they know where the plant spots are. You're starting to see a lot more post up gameplay and professional gameplay with dual weapons like dual weapons would be like an assault or a rush weapon like the foul and the m8 you're starting to see a lot more of that gameplay now you might have <clears throat> now you might have some people that rush but it doesn't matter because if you bring out the evo with the red dot i mean you're pretty much done in a close quarter combat matchup so you're going to lose those battles every single time i find that the evo this video was before I got to uh, level 10. I haven't reached 10th prestige. If you wanna, um, if you wanna check that out, uh, if you want me to do like Road to Commander from level 40 to Master Prestige, let me let me know in the comments. 
I like to take my little 10 second shout out halfway through my gameplay. I've been doing a lot of network, so I haven't been playing Black Ops 2. I haven't played Black Ops 2 since Friday, so that's been about six days. I've been doing a lot of networks, been on a lot of shows, um, YouTube shows. And I'm going to be creating a YouTube, not a YouTube show, but a podcast. I did run a podcast, but I wasn't the guy who uh, was deep. You know, I didn't like doing all the running it and all that stuff. I just want to show up and have somebody, yo, our show's on. Let's be on there. Let's do some jibber jabber. And that's what I do. That's why I probably like being at so many other people's shows during the week. It's fun. So I'm going to be on a couple shows this Thursday and I think Thursday, Friday, and I'm going to be making my own show, which is going to be called Last Stand. And uh, that's going to probably be running, I don't know what day yet, but if, you know, what day do you think I should run that show? Leave, leave that below in the, leave that comment below in the, in the comment, leave that question or that answer below in the comments below. Please do so. Sometimes I talk really fast and I get tongue twisted and it doesn't make sense, but I'm trying to get so much out before the video's over because I only get to talk once a day do one video for you guys so I'm trying to get all this information out to you and tell you about the gameplay tell you what's going on with me blah, 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 blah. it's all about Call of Duty let's do this let's do this so I want to shout out two dudes that I've been networking and I think everybody that's somebody I don't care how many subs you got I think you should take the time and pass it on and uh, I, I don't, I'm not saying do it every video like I don't expect like big guys to do it every single video but at least take the time to put some guys links in the video especially if they're your friends I mean once in a while put your friends in there shout your friends out I mean come on what are friends for if you're not going to shout them out I mean if they're not friends and I guess you're just a user then so take the time out to show some love to the people that are helping you you can help them back so I'd like to do that right now and shout out a couple guys try hard um, uh, try harder gamer or try hard gamer I'll leave his link below in the description and I also would like to leave um, I'd also like to leave in the description um, Devil Hunter 75. If you get a chance, check out Devil Hunter 75 and Try Hard Gamer. Um, I think it's Try Hard Gamer. Yeah, Try Hard Gamer. Pretty cool dudes. Check those dudes out. I'm gonna leave their links in the description below. Um, Devil, Devil Hunter has done a lot of thumb, most of my thumbnails for me, so he's been very helpful. So, you know, I like to give back to some people. Phone was ringing right there, busting up my concentration. But I got to keep the show going for my fans because that's what I do. So, anyways, helping out people is what you should do. You know, you should give back and help out people. And I appreciate everything that everybody does for me. And in these gameplays, I try to pass on actualization tips that actually work for you so you truly actualize your potential in the game going solo and then if you're running with a team you're this you're just that much better and that helps out everybody you know what i mean so i think once i get to master prestige and if you want to see that road to commander from whatever level i am now that's fine i'll post every single video from that point forward and i'm gonna have my final classes and i'm definitely going to have the evo scorpion my evo flow I like to call it my evil flow. E evil or evo flow? Evo flow. My evo flow, because it flows so good with me with your style of gameplay. You know, when you when they give so much power to off the hip in this game. And you know what? I have to give I had to tip my hat to David Honor. You know, you could love and hate him, but he he really does listen to the community. And we bitched about this a lot. I mean, realistically speaking, in Black Ops 1, you had 20 bullets in a clip. The SMG sucked ass. There was no in the middle ground for those weapons. They were terrible. There was like one or two SMGs. They were garbage. And the maps were very long and boring. And nobody liked it. And I think that's a lot of people. They had a problem. They came over from Black Ops. They came over from Black Ops 1. Expecting these long lines of sight, long maps, assault rifle only, slow running characters. And the action in this game has been faster than any action of any Call of Duty out there. And that's what we want to see. We want to see fast action gameplays. Having fun, doing our thing. I'm so glad you guys showed up. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I think it was 67 and 2, 67 and 7. I don't know what it was. Evo Flow. That's what I do. Hope you picked up some tips on the Evo, on the shadows, on the score streaks, on some love for me to you because that's what we do. And shouting out people. Until next time, it's your boy Fizz. Peace. I'm out.